Hello guys, this is the Pavoni. Okay, uh, it's a uh, manual hand pressure coffee machine. It's a very very nice. I I I can say this is the best coffee machine ever for home. And of course, there is some big commercials. They work with the same system, same way steam pressure that's it no boiler no like there is like a sort of kettle boiler little one here you can call it boiler when the where the water boil and get pressure like um, some pressure and that's that pr that pressure you release it by lifting the handle some some coffee some uh, coffee machine like this you lift it up to pour, but some of them you lift it, uh, you, you pour it down, so dip, then you lift it up. So it depends. So La Pavone, it works this way. This is a 70s model, early 70s Italian model. Actually, actually it's very rare to find someone, I mean, sorry, uh, a coffee machine in this condition from the 70s. <coughs> Over here, you just top up the water and be careful you don't want to fill the boiler I mean the tank over here all the way till here or here or you spill it whatever no over here is the maximum but my, I recommend to keep the water to this level or this that's it so you will have like a space where the water can boil and give you a very good pressure plus if you if you fill it to the top when when the water is boiled it's going to spill from everywhere and this is the valve pressure valve release over here is an automatic pressure like if you, if uh, the if the machine reaches certain pressure uh, it will release it so the machine doesn't blow and sometime even from here because there is only rubber between here and here you can see the water spill because you fill you fill it up with too much water it's a very tricky but when you learn it you will always make a nice coffee you will never live without it it's a very nice it, it will have like a sort of addiction to it so make sure you close it very tight that's it I've got this one it's, it doesn't come this is a bottomless handle it doesn't come with the with this machine but I bought it separately from Amazon and it's really really good I will uh, give you another tip which is the the coffee grinder coffee so very simple use any coffee you like any flavor whatever Colombian whatever Ethiopian Guatemalan whatever and make sure you grind it like to uh, to be like a salt like si size of the salt that's what you need that's the perfect size for a grinding coffee if you don't have a grinder use any any other method or even the the blender some blenders come with the gr a small grinder use it or any other individual one and make sure the, the coffee it's just like a, the size of salt to get a per, out of like the perfect coffee out of it plus it's like this between 18 to 20 milligram for your shot to have a perfect shot for yourself the total weight and I will run it and I will wait for it it's like a kettle, you put the kettle on, you wait for it to boil, same way. You light it on, from here, the buttons, both of them. This is to like, to uh, temperatures, this is very low temperature. It means the machine will run, it's on, it will boil water, but at low temperature. This is, this is what we need. It has to be like this. So you can keep it all the time like this. Some people, when the water boil, they put this one on. 
so the, to drop the pressure and make a coffee so it's up to you and that's it and we're gonna wait for it then we're gonna use coffee I've got this one it's just a little coffee sheep one it's not expensive but if you grind it properly actually I buy it and then I, 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 I grind it I, I grind it already and I grind I grind it more just you know or better for you to buy the beans and grind it every single time you're making coffee decide to make a coffee so it's up to you uh, by the way this coffee is just to try it's not gonna be good because I, I haven't grind it yet it's just like a normal ground coffee it's not just the, the, the one we want for espresso but we will use it okay that's what happened when it's well and the water is ready, the machine, all the thing is ready. This is what you hear. Is the pressure are coming out from this valve, release valve, pressure release valve over here. What I do usually, you see the, the mud, I put it here. You see, I put it there just to, to, to warm the cup on. And it does, so the steam come up the, from the valve, pressure release, it comes to the cup and you warm it up well and uh, what we did the, the, the coffee machine is still ready you can just drop a little bit the temperature so you have enough make sure you have the coffee you just uh, press it properly press it like, not hard and not, stop, not uh, soft between and stamp it and that's it but this is what you need to do but actually I forgot I forgot another thing before you put the, the, uh, the handle in release a little bit just a little bit of water to clean the chamber and go on. This is what you need to do, lift up the, the handle, then put it down. As I told you, this coffee, this coffee is not ready, and it's not like a coffee, it's placed a coffee, that's why it's too, it's too quick when I pour it. But this is the way, and you will need, if the co coffee is espresso, it's the coffee beans. If it's uh, like a uh, proper grind, it, it will have like a little bit of uh, pressure. It means the coffee will come too slow and creamy. And just you, all you need to do, keep going like this. Bam, 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 bam. Keep going, keep going. That's it. But before you start pouring, make sure you lift up the handle to the top. And then you drop. That's it. And you will have a perfect coffee, and you will love this coffee machine. For the, the milk, for the milk, this is the steam. This is the steam. I don't have a milk. I don't want any milk. I don't. I don't use it usually. And this is the steam from here. And you start. You start putting your milk and make your creamer. And make your creamy latte, cappuccino, whatever you like. Hopefully you like it. It's a bit messy because I try to, I try to make it nice, but a little bit messy because of the coffee. It's not the good one. But the demo is just to show you how it works. Hopefully you like it. And I do recommend this coffee machine if you saw it, especially cheap price. Don't miss it, buy it.